in this video we are going to go over how to do some common skills in your calculator but you can see on today's um, canvas quiz let me pull that up for you that it just says watch the video first I don't give you any pages in the notebook that this is related to because we've been learning these doing these calculator skills using these buttons all year so I'm gonna do a really um, as usual quick overview of of what you will need to do for this quiz and then you can get going on it so the first thing that you want to do for this quiz is make sure that the settings in your calculator are what they should be so I'm going to give you this little piece of cardstock that is like a reference sheet for you guys so that if you forget you can hopefully look at this and be reminded of what you're doing so really every time you use your calculator you should double check your settings to do that you hit this little button that I have boxed in red so you turn your calculator on and you're going to go to the mode button and you're going to make sure that everything that I have highlighted here you also have highlighted so you should be on degree norm float math print and then if you scroll down see this calculator is not on the right setting so this calculator needs to be on the U and not on this other one so to get it there I just have to have my box flashing on what I need and hit enter then it needs to be on auto simp once you have that all selected correctly and hopefully the person before you has already done this you can clear out of it to get to your home screen so on this I'm just gonna make a little note that might be helpful to you guys to get out you hit clear to get out hit clear so then when you go through and do these problems on this quiz you should be getting all the same exact answers that I got if your settings are right and you probably should check your settings each day um, I know that it's annoying but it should be really quick um, that way you can ensure that you're always getting the right answers so I'm just gonna go back over to this quiz really quick and we can just look at these questions one at a time so these first few are having you work with integers and the key here when you're working with integers is that you need to make sure that you are putting in the negative when it is a negative so right here on your screen where you're seeing this 13 this is a negative 13 it's not a minus 13 and in particular this problem here hang on just one second sorry my thing wasn't working this here I don't know why it won't let me click on it but this negative 2 minus a negative 15 you have to be careful about that so on your cheat sheet I have that right here that when you plug this in this first one is a subtraction so notice I give you that button to enter this you have to hit your subtract button but then this second one is a negative so you have to make sure that you hit your negative button so if I want to try to type in 13 subtract negative 8 I can type that in exactly like I see it on my screen so I would do 13 and then I would have to hit my subtract button which is right here your parentheses are here so you would hit parentheses if you end up hitting the subtract button again what it's going to give you is a syntax error if you get that syntax error it's because you hit subtract here instead of negative so while it's flashing there I'm gonna hit my negative button and hit enter again and that will actually give me the right answer so this 13 subtract negative 8 turns into a positive 21 so that's the first key here that I need you to pay attention for is that your negative and your subtract are different and you have to be really careful about it if you're unsure it whether the problem is asking you to do subtract or negative try it both ways and see what happens normally one way will give you a syntax error so that would be your indicator that you need to try a different way um, so back to our canvas quiz we have adding these 
then you have this subtraction problem. This one you have to enter in, number three, you have to enter in a fraction. So you have a reminder of this on your cheat sheet as well. So the next box tells you if you want to get a fraction in, you hit N over D. And if you want to get a mixed number in, you hit U, N over D. And this right here is telling you where on your calculator you will find that. Um, make sure, like on this problem, that when you have a negative, when you enter this into your calculator, you are not losing track of that negative. On number four, you would enter this in exactly like you see it into your calculator with the parentheses. In fact, for the rest of these, you will. So like on five and six, where you see this parenthesis, you want to make sure that you're actually using your calculator and your parenthesis buttons right here to enter things in exactly like you see them. So that's part of why I'm having you take this quiz, because I want you to practice plugging things into your calculator exactly like the problem gives them to you. Here, when you're doing this subtraction problem, to enter that into Canvas, so if I gave you like, um, let's do 5 eighths minus 1 third, my answer is 7 over 24. To get that into Canvas, do 7 backslash 24. Enter it in like this with your backslash button. If you don't know where that is, raise your hand and I'll come over and show you where that is on your Chromebook. Okay, I'm just going to look at the rest of these problems. I don't know why it's not pulling that one up for you. Oh, sorry, hang on. Okay, sorry, I couldn't get my canvas up so I had to pause the video really quick. Um, on number 10 here, where I'm moving my cursor. Once again, you just enter it in exactly like you see it and plug into your canvas exactly what your calculator gives you. Once you get to 13, 13 through 16, you actually have to do some converting and that is this bottom part on your cheat sheet. So right here, it has fractions to decimals this button that has the red box around it, that tells you how you convert. So like if you want to convert 5 and 3 eighths to a decimal, you're going to use your mixed number button. Type in 5 and 3 eighths, arrow over, and then hit this double arrow button. So that would change it to 5.375. If you wanted to change 0.625 into a fraction, you type in 0.625 and you hit the double arrow button. That's 5 eighths. And what you would put into Canvas is 5 backslash 8. So this is your box that reminds you if you want to convert, you have to hit your double arrow button. Then the last thing to mention before we stop this video is that on Canvas, it wants you, if the decimal explodes, to round to the nearest hundredth. So on my cheat sheet, I'm going to make a note of what that looks like. So if something asks you to round to the hundredths, that means you want to make it look like money. So if I type in one sixth into my calculator and I change it to a decimal, it explodes. So my calculator literally gives me one, a bunch of sixes, and then at the very end a seven. So in Canvas, you are either going to type in one six or one seven. It depends on how you round. If you know how to round, you would do 0.17. If you don't, you just write down the first two digits. So when you're rounding to the hundredths place, you are writing the first two numbers after the decimal. So on these last few problems, that's all you have to do is plug it in. If it explodes, write down the first two numbers that you get after the decimal. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that's helpful.